This is how to trade from zero to one million coins using only John Stones. This is the 83 method. You can use any 83, not just John Stone. Step one is to check market velocity. If you guys wanna know what market velocity is, you guys can check it out on my other tutorial. You can see it linked above. You can see the market velocity is high going up. So that takes us on to step number two, the sell point. To know what we need to buy at, we just need to calculate the tax because anything underneath this number, 2470, will be able to buy safely, be able to make profit. What we're gonna do is just go right back and search up John Stones and we're gonna go all the way up to about 2000 coins. So what that does is it just gives us a ton of options on the market. For the sake of the video, what I went ahead and did is just, I went and skipped a couple minutes in and I just started bidding at base price. Now what this does is it allows us to create transfer targets while also being in the market and potentially getting one at min price. We most likely won't get them, but we're really just trying to get them onto the transfer targets so we can start bid battling. Now my transfer targets, I can see that if I buy for underneath 2,400 coins, I can technically still make coins. If I did not go in on them, it looks like this guy made out a nice little purchase with a 2,100, able to make about 400 coins profit. This takes me to step number three, knowing your buy price. Knowing your buy price tells you how much profit you feel is comfortable given the opportunity cost that you know what's going on in the market at this current time. If John Stones is able to make us 400 coins on profit, but you have another card that can make you 600, which one's gonna be better to trade? The one that's gonna be 600, right? So this takes us to step number four, the bid battle. Once you get underneath the minute mark, you start getting other buyers in the market that start to bid, and under 30 seconds, the bid cycle resets, and so you reprocess the bid. So what I'm gonna show you is I'm not gonna unedit this, I'm going to just let it go and show you exactly how I did this in the bid strategy. So my absolute top max bid is going to be 2,200. I referenced 2,200 is what I feel comfortable trading on where I can still get 370 coins of profit per trade or 270 coins, roughly 300 coins is where I like to be. So what I do is I back out and rejoin just to reset the actual bid. And as you can see, those were bid out at 2,300. That means I am no longer gonna go in on those. And so I keep on bidding all the way up. And the idea is I call it bid battles in the terms of regard to actually bidding and battling them up to that buy point. As you can see, I just won one for 1,900 coins while others are going for 2,300. And on the market, I could sell it for 2,600. So that is a profit of 570 coins off of just one of those cards. Now I took about 20 cards within about five minutes of bidding. And so what you're seeing guys is a total of five minutes of trading during bid battles with the John Sims, John Stones, the 83 method, where I'm making one card and making coins doing it. As you can see, I'm not winning all of them because they're over my buy price. So if they bid over my buy price, we let it go and we just keep going. And so I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward and show you guys what the results were. The initial win was about five out of the 10. So we made about 50 of those cards. And so if you calculate all five of those, five win cards, so 2,600 is our sell by times five, that gives us 1,300 times 0.95 of the EA tax, gives us our total revenue of 10,600 coins is the summation of all the cards that we ended up buying in on, gives us the profit of 1,750 coins. The hardest part is buying right. And so if you're having trouble winning bids, don't worry, it happens to everybody. It's my most commented message on my channel. If you need help, check out this next video on when is the best time to bid battle. We'll see you in this next episode on our part series on zero to a million. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.